Hey guys, welcome back, PJ here, um, and let's move on to part 3 of this Let's Play. Let's look at the team real fast. Uh, last time we got Gnarly, Wormy, and Mr. Potato Head. Um, hopefully some of them will be useful, I'm not, I'm not sure how good Wormy's gonna be, but uh, I'm hoping that he gets a grass move soon to take on this gym, so I'm actually gonna put him in front for now. Well actually, first off, let's sit, take care of some business and see if we can catch somebody up here. Do I have Pokeballs? I do not remember. Um, not enough. Let's go buy this first. That would have been a mistake. Don't want to pull crap like that. Alright. Hey, kind people. Sell me Pokeballs. Wow, I do not have very much money. This is, this is not good. Especially because I might need to stock up on healing items before the gym. But anyway, for now, let's go see what we can get from this route up here. Don't remember what route number it is. Let's see, it is Route 207. What do you hold for me? Do, do, do. Mag Mortar, yes! I mean, it's not gonna be good for this gym, but in general, that's awesome. It's one of my favorite fire types, actually. Alright, um. Let's see, I'll send out Gnarly to weaken you. Frigid could actually take some substantial damage. How much is the number gonna do? Alright, solid. Let's hit him up with a quick attack. Wing attack probably would no co, but I just wanna be safe. I really wanna catch this thing. No! Fuck, flame body. Um I mean flame body's really good in the sense that when I have it, it's gonna be awesome. But for the purpose of catching it right now, this is gonna be bad. I don't want <laughs> what happened to Sire to happen again. So to be safe, I'm gonna switch. Uh crap, I don't really have anybody good for this, do I? I guess I'll switch back to Frigid. I hope he doesn't take too much of an ember. Okay, smog. And it missed. Perfect, perfect. Alright, Gust might kill at this range. I'm gonna have to go for Powder Snow. Um, that's not gonna do much at all, but I need, you know, I have to weaken it without killing it. Um, Alright, if I can do like one or two. Yes! Freeze Hacks! Oh my god! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, before those freeze hacks run out, I'm actually going to try and take advantage of them and throw Pokeballs. Because being frozen is going to do more to increase my chances of catching it than lowering its HP a little bit more. Oh, damn, damn. Okay. Still frozen, still frozen. Alright, I'm going to actually... I guess I'll go for another Powder Snow. Fuck it. Its HP is still relatively high. Right, that should take it down to a good amount, and if it stays frozen, this should be in pretty solid caching range. Okay, come on. Yes, got it. Sweet. Well, this is an awesome addition to the team. Hell yeah, got that mag mortar. Launching 3600 degrees Fahrenheit fireballs. Jesus. His body takes on a whitish hue from the intense heat. That is some hot shit. Alright. You shall be arm cannons. Because, why not? Yeah, I wish there was a faster way to type in this game. I, I guess if I was using the, uh. the like a stylus on an actual DS would go faster, but I right, need to smash the words together so it actually fits. Arm cannons, the mag mortar has joined the team. Hells yes. Alright, well that's a fantastic member to round out the party. Not fantastic for the gym, like I said, we're still gonna have to do some work to Ooh, timid. Nice. It's nice nice and fast. Flame body and got ember to work with. That that will that'll do for now. Excellent. Alright, I'm actually going to put uh, Mr. Potato Head in front for the upcoming trainer battles. I'm actually curious to see what else is in this grass real fast, since we're here. See if there's anything else cool. Not that I can catch it. Alright, another Meg Mortar, so yeah. That's fine. This guy should give a lot of XP. Um, I can't... Uh, no, I should, I should not try and kill Mr. Potato Head. That'd be stupid. I'm just going to kill it for some... XP real quick, because Mr. Potato Head needs to level the fuck up. I 
I might have to do a bit of training before the gym because I'm not very high leveled at all. Alright, let's, let's unburn gnarly and unfreeze arm cannons. And we're good to go. By the way, uh, let me know what you guys think of the new format with, you know, the the uh, two screens separate and then party on the side and badge case and whatnot. I know it's not the most innovative thing ever, and if you've watched other Poketubers, I'm sure you've seen similar things before. But it's new for me. I've never done anything like it. And, um, it, you know, it's a decent amount of work, but now that I have it figured out and kind of have a system for putting videos together efficient... Oh, I didn't even mean to press A there. That was an accident. Cool. Um, anyway... So let me know if you like it. If you do, you know, I'll keep it up. Now that I have it, you know, kind of set up and ready to go, it's not too much extra work. And I definitely think it makes it look you know, better and more, I don't know if professional is the right word, but just like cleaner, I guess. Let's get this item over here. Oh yeah, and I can uh, catch the first guy I run into here, obviously. This is Orberg Mine, I think it's called. Do you guys give me anything? I feel like you do. Uh, maybe not, okay. And the Pokemon is going to ambush me right when I'm standing. Oh my god, a Gliscor. I'm getting all kinds of good stuff right now. Again, not good for the gym per se, but uh, in general, this is awesome. Okay, I'm going to uproar. Ooh, knockoff. Okay. That's pretty weak. Yeah, I, I forget. In 6th uh, gen, knockoff is a beast of a move. Um, because... It, they upped its power a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. Oh, shit. I can't stop uproaring. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't realize knock up, er, uproar did that, where it locks you into it. Like, thrash. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Please be the last one. Please be the last one. No, no, I can't lose this Glyscore. Oh, my God. I'm about to not be able to catch this thing, so I'm about to kill it. No, Mr. Potato Head. Alright, well this was the worst possible situation that could happen. Mr. Potato Head almost died and I lost my glide score, no. Oh my god. I'm so upset right now. I mean we got the Mag Mortar, but we had such a good opportunity to get a glide score and I fucking blew it because of my ignorance. Oh man. Well, Um, that is really disappointing, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go heal, because Mr. Potato Head is about dead. Yeah, can't catch you. Get out of here. Yeah, those are probably good for training, because I can Oko those with uh, Frigid pretty easily. And they give a lot of XP, but... Man, Glass Gore would have been nice to have. Those things are defensive walls, and they get, you know, pretty strong, too. Their attack isn't bad. They're, they're definitely good guys to have around. And Wi-Fi battling, they're the most annoying things ever. The people that run, like, Poison Heal, Toxic Orb, uh, Protect, Substitute, Swords Dance, and Earthquake. Most annoying set ever. <laughs> Alright, well here's just a regular Zubat, so you can get out. Um, I'm actually going to put... Mr. Potato Head back in front it's for XP. Even though he almost just died against the Gliscor. Which shows how much he needs to level up. Whoops. Okay. I know some of these guys fight you, I don't remember which ones. Not that one. Let's do that. Alright, well. I don't care about Zubats, so it's whatever. They can get out. Alright. Wow, sneak your Pokemon into work. Aren't you supposed to bring them to work to help you out? Am I am I wrong? No, whatever. Well, you have a Geodude, so... Hmm. Uh, I mean, I have to switch into Frigid and go for Powder Snows, but if he uses a Rock move, this is going to be bad. Alright, Rock Polish, that's fine. <laughs> wow, I still outspeed him after Rock Polish, lol. Yeah, and that's why I'm so worried about the gym, because uh, if any of his guys actually use Rock Moves on me, Articuno is going to go down, like for sure, because it's four times weak to him. And that is a problem. 
using Rock Smash. I could break rocks. What? Rock Smash smashes rocks? That is crazy shit, bro. Alright, so he's gonna go back to his gym and we can go fight him, but let's finish exploring this place whilst we are here. And I think this is the only other trainer battle in here. Worker Colin. Alright, that GOD is weak enough, but I'm not too worried about switching in. Powder Snow! Good shop. I'm just gonna stay in. I don't really wanna switch back out. Okay. Escape rope, that'll be nice for getting out of here, although I'm probably just gonna kill guys on the way to train. Okay, so yeah, there's the end of that. Um, let's roll back out of here. Let's train on- oh, Gorbis, hello. Um, you know, now that I know that Uproar locks you into it, I'm kind of scared to use it because it means I can't switch out or heal if I'm about to die, but I think I can take a Gorbis. Because all it's using is Whirlpool, so yeah. Gorbis would have been interesting to have, I guess. Not the greatest Pokemon, but, you know, pretty good special attacker with water moves. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Potato Head can take those out by himself, so... Those are decent training. I can't remember if there's anything over here. Nope. Yeah, sorry if the sound sounds really weird while I'm speeding it up. I mean, I know it definitely will, um... But it's, it's just easier. I doubt anyone wants to see me take on these fights at regular speed. Because it's just me mashing A, and that's literally it. Alright. Well, no glass score for me. Sad face. I can okay those things at least. Alright, so uh, now the only thing left in this town is to take on the gym, but honestly, I do not feel like I'm ready for that at all. Um, I'm pretty sure I would get wrecked if I go in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here do a bit of training real fast, because no one wants to watch that, and then I'll be back in a second and we can take on this gym. Hey guys, I'm back. So I went and did some training, um, got these three up to level 13, and then trained arm cannons a little bit too. Not that he'll be very useful, or she'll be very useful in this gym, but yeah, it's a good Pokemon in general, I wanted to go ahead and train. Um, Honestly, I think we're going to have to rely on some hacks to beat this gym. Uh, Execute did get a grass move, but it wasn't the one I wanted. It was Leech Seed, which isn't really a directly attacking move by any means. So I think my strategy for most of the guys in this gym is going to be Leech Seed, Reflect, and then Hypnosis. And then either once the Pokemon's asleep, bring in Articuno to finish them off safely with the Powder Snow, or just, just stall them out and let Leech Seed do its job. I know it's kind of not the most exciting way to do it, but it'll work, and that's pretty much all I have for this gym. You can go ahead and fight these two trainers on the way. Um, you can skip them if you just go around them, but why would you, honestly? Good experience. Alright, yeah, so let's try out this strategy. Because I think Articuno could probably at least two-shot, maybe even one-shot some of these guys with Powder Snow, but I'm just so scared of a rock throw coming in and wrecking my life, because that would probably Oko me. I'm going to speed this up, this is going to take a bit, so now I'm going to set up the Reflect, now I'm going to put him to sleep, and now that they're asleep and there's a Reflect up, I can somewhat safely switch into Articuno and... Yep, there we go, perfect. Alright, I'm just going to do that again, honestly. That worked, <laughs> that worked quite well. Um, like I said, a little, little slow, not the most interesting ever, but it'll work. It's funny, with the Reflect up particularly, Geodude's Tackle does less than my Leech Seed recovery. So I came out of that with full health. Okay, Onyx, Rinse, and Repeat. Whoops, meant to Leech Seed first. Oh well. Okay, there we go. Now Reflect, because it's Reflect wore off. Now Hypnosis. See, that rock there, that's, that's what I'm scared of, man. That's what I'm scared of. Wow, I cannot hit a Hypnosis. There we are. It's just funny that with the Leech Seed, it doesn't even matter that I'm taking damage. I probably could just wait for the Leech Seed to kill him there. But, uh... There goes the Powder Snow to finish off Young Stadarius. And now I'm gonna go heal up. I know I'm actually... I think I'm actually at full health, everybody. But I wanna get all my moves back, and... Healing up before Gym Leaders is just a habit I'm in. It's kept me alive, okay? 
it, it's just it's just a good thing to do. You want to play it safe, especially in a Nuzlocke. If it wasn't a Nuzlocke, I wouldn't I wouldn't care as much. I'd probably be fine. But let's roll back to the gym and let's take on our first gym leader. Da 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 da. Welcome. This is the Orberg Gym. I'm Roarark, the gym leader. I. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright. We can do that. I'll hit you up. Let's go. I'm all about safety with that hard hat, man. <laughs> Inside the gym. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so honestly, I'm just gonna employ that same strategy. It's Leech Seed. And then, see how much this Proctor does, I'm just curious. Without the Reflect, that doesn't do a terrible amount. It does less than a quarter. It's not too bad. Whoops, didn't mean to use that again. Reflect, there we go. Ooh, Stealth Rocks, shit. Uh, well in that case, I really don't even want to bring in Articuno because that is going to uh, take out a solid half of my health just on the switch in, so I'm honestly just gonna spam Reflect and let Leech Seed do its job because... Ah, oh, he heals, I forgot about that. Hopefully he's up all his potions on this Geodude. Alright, woke back up. Time to go back to sleep, bud. No, he was asleep for a long time. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to have the switch in happen and lose half my health because screw that. Because... I mean, a rock throw by itself might kill me, but especially after stealth rock damage, it definitely would. Ooh, pursuit hurts a lot. I need to reflect up immediately. Ouch. Alright, I need to heal. Do I even have potions? Okay, thank goodness. Alright, yeah, pursuit's actually super effective, so... Ouch. I need to put this thing to sleep. Um... Stop spamming pursuit. How much does that do? 36. Wow, even with reflect up, it does quite a bit of damage. So let's hypnosis you. There we go. And now, let's, okay, I still have the reflect up. Let's get the reflect back and spam hypnosis in case it wakes up. Yes, what a hub. Okay. Probably should be counting how many turns reflect has been up. Okay, it just wore off. Get it up again. Oh God, pursuit hurts. Especially without Reflect. Alright, there we go. Level 14. Mr. Potato Head put in work. Took out his strongest guy. Alright, now there's just an Onyx left. Um, I think I have Reflect up, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe to go for just a Leech Seed straight off the bat. I don't think this Rock Throw will do too much. Yeah, 3 damage. <laughs> I can show that off. It's not even enough to crack another one of Mr. Potato Head's heads. Alright, um, alright, Reflect is still up, so you need to go to sleep. You really need to go to sleep. Wow, we both just missed twice in a row. Honestly, turns where nothing happens, where we both miss, are fine for me. They work in my favor because, I mean, that's just Leech Seed damage. Leech Seed is such a good move. I know I was complaining about not getting a better grass move earlier, but, I mean, Leech Seed is, is good. Espe I mean, it's good in online play, but it's even good just in the game. Yep, there we go. And I literally leech seeded through that whole gym. Oh my god. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yeah, it is. You just got beat by leech seed. I went and lost to a trainer that didn't have a single gym badge. But that's, but that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. Well, at least he's honest. Gotta give him that. According to league rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you beat me. Here's your official Pokemon, Cole Badge. I'm also curious to see what TM we get, because I think he normally gives you Stealth Rock. But, um, it, it could be anything. Alright, I can use Rock Smash outside of battle. TM76, which like I said, I believe is normally Stealth Rocks. Yeah, Stealth Rock. Which is a good battle, or a very good uh, move in Wi-Fi battles, but in in-game it's not really useful. Gunk Shot? 120 power, Jesus. It's only 70 accuracy though. I don't think I've ever used this move. I don't know if I can learn it anyway. That's interesting. Should probably do some rock smash as well. Um, yeah, I don't really want to waste it on either of these two because it's an HM and HMs are annoying. I'll save that for some other 
useless guy. I don't think I need it to proceed right now. Like, you can use it to go a little bit farther into that cave um, that we passed through earlier, but I don't think there's anything important in there. Um, and plus, in order, you can, Rock Smash gets you in a little bit farther, but in order to explore all of it, you need a bicycle, I believe. And we obviously don't have that yet. So, I'll just wait on that for now. Alright, well guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, managed to beat the first gym with no casualties, even though I didn't really have any good moves for it, but Mr. Potato Head put in work <laughs> and did that Leech Seed Reflect Hypnosis combo. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.